Today, I'm going to share with you something that many of my SPD had been asking me. Many people who are making money, but they haven't touched the seven figures income yet. The seven figure income, actually it was fun you when I first touched it, I was like, wow, that is cool. I make another million from this business. Uh, and I think somebody told me, Roy, you're doing this part-time and you make a million dollars. How do you do that? Well, I but, never really spent time and, and sit down and figure out how do I did this. But uh, there are many SPD had asked me, I said, Roy, you got to share this. We need to know all this. I said, okay. So here we go. I want to ask the bottom line questions. For well, all of you guys that listen to this, how are we going to make a million dollar? It is very, very nice when you make a million dollar because you have all this extra money that usually you think, let's say you go to a restaurant, right? You look at the menu and you look at the price. <clears throat> uh, in the very beginning of my career uh, as an engineer, and then I got married, have kids, you know, my son, Josh knows this very well. Uh, he always liked to order the expensive stuff. So like, what's wrong with you, Josh? You take a look at the right price first before you read the left. Now, of course, whatever you want. <clears throat> So along the way, I, I developed my wealth through engineering and then now through Lifeway. It is so nice to have an extra million dollar to play with. You can really become a blessing to others and help many, many other peoples. All right, these are a few steps that we need to be aware of. Uh, those pictures is Burr Rick and Burr Ted. We were in Japan. Uh, that t-shirt, I bought it at some outlet be right before I went to Japan, and that's why the three of us are wearing it. Are you really ready to make a million dollar a year? Let's focus to make a hundred thousand dollar first a year. Make sure that you understand how the marketing plan works. That is why later after this, I would like to ask uh, Pastor Ed to share with us, because we need to know the marketing works like what? To the detail, detail marketing plan. Because when I first joined, uh, I start having questions and I have to call the marketing company itself to understand how the marketing plan works, okay? Once you already figure out, let's say you wanna make 100,000, that means about $10,000 a month. You can reverse calculate how many sales you have to do. If you do not know how to do that, get together with your upline. Your upline still lost, get together with their upline. They're still lost, their upline. Uh, you can reverse engineer everything and recalculate what kind of activity you have to do every day to make that $10,000 sales, okay? Number two, do you know that you need to prepare your heart? You gotta prepare your heart. You cannot just, in Indonesia, we call it chup, chip, chup, klabang, kun, chup. It's like, whatever will be, will be. We're just going to do it, Roy. We're going to get there. Not that kind of attitude. You got to prepare your heart. You got to prepare your mind because it's all about your mind. If your man thinks you can do it, your body, then your language has to change. You know, oh, brother Roy, that's too hard. See, when you say it's too hard, your mind heard it, your body heard it, and became hard. So what you say is what you get. It's biblical, right, Pastor Ed? So we got to prepare Amen. your heart, your mind, your strength, and your will. Your will got to be like so, so strong. One million dollar or 100,000 first. And you got to have a commitment. You cannot do, oh, I don't feel like working today, or I feel lazy. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. I'm not going to talk to anybody. Actually, Mother's Day is great because you're going to meet a lot of people. You got to share it. I, I hope Mona, Mona, are you here, Mona? Mona, a lady I met in Las Vegas. I was looking for my property and I do not plan to buy uh, a certain house. So I saw her house. I like her floor plan because it's a big house, I think 3,800 square feet. And I like the layout and the backyard, beautiful pool. So I got into talking with her 
And I felt like, oh, I got to share their life way. And, you know, she signed up. I'm not sure that she's here today. And I'm going back to Las Vegas just for her. That is the kind of commitment an upline has. You know, many upline, I heard this from crazy thousands of people. My upline don't understand the marketing plan, Roy. My upline never helped me. So did you get spillover? My upline never spill over, and they don't even know what spillover is. Okay? So you got to understand all these things. You want to make a million dollar, right? So you got to be ready. Your mind, your strength, your will, your commitment without stopping. 111% on. And your attitude has to be so strong. Because with the right attitude, you can achieve everything. But if your attitude, your word, you got to change all this. You got to slap yourself. Oops, I cannot say that bad word. I cannot say negative thing. You got to change everything, ladies and gentlemen. Change, change, change. Uh, that's why, you know, uh, praying is really good. You know, uh, I think if you become a Christian and you go to the right church, it really helps to shape your dream. Because you got so many different helps. You cannot say bad words in church, right? So you limit yourself. So make that a habit. Don't say bad word, right? If you're able to do so, your life's going to be better and better and better. Because you need to sell it to yourself first before you can sell it to others. I hope you got that, okay? So you have to be so totally sold. All right. Here are a few more steps that you need to do each and every day. You cannot say, oh, I don't feel like doing this week, right? I'm going to take a week off. You know, people always give an excuse to themselves. Cannot do that. You got to be all out massive action. You need to approach 10 people a day. This is minimum. You want to make 100000 or a million dollars, 10 people a day by text, by WhatsApp, by WeChat, uh, email, and use Live Wave in Touch. Because Live Wave in Touch is so good, it's designed when your prospect is watching at the video. I have a prospect that's been watching the video five times. But when I, when I asked, are you ready to come aboard? Not yet. I was like, oh my God. And see you watch again, I think yesterday, the sixth time. So I haven't followed up on that one yet. So use live if in touch is so powerful, right? The best way is calling them one by one. But many people don't have the guts to call people. Brother Roy, you have no idea. My uncle is very rich, very successful. I, what should I say to him? That is when you want to call together with your upline. Because when you call together with your upline, it's going to be more and more powerful. Uh, your upline hopefully know what he's talking about. So you need to find a very good upline to call. Like today, Brother Rick asked me to talk to Dr. Adrian. Uh, he's in Alaska right now, right? So I was talking to uh, uh, to Brother uh, uh, Dr. Adrian this morning and help him edify Brother Rick. Uh, talk about the technology, and that's the way you want to build the business. Three-week call is the best. So if you talk to 10 people each and every day, uh, at the end of the year, I mean, at the end of the month, I want to discount you by about 150 people, right? Because things happen in life. 100, it's supposed to be 300 people, right? But we discount you 50%. 150 people that you had talked, and by the law of average, 20% will sign up, all right? So 30 people will sign up by then. By the time you have 100 people that you had signed up, 20 people will be great leaders. Once you have 100 great leaders that you have signed up in your network, 20 people is going to be a superstar who will work with you and make you a million dollars. Okay? You understand that, right? The steps. You want to attack to 10, 10 people, but the end is supposed to be 300, but I give you 150, 50% off. 150, you sign up 30 people, and then 20% will be good, 
another 20% of those people is going to be your superstar. And that is going to bring you to $1 million. Because without all these ingredients in your network, it's going to be hard. You know, I met Brother Tommy Mason. I talked to David Allen, Larry Clark, Pastor Ed, Sister Vicky, Sister Maria, and many, many others here around the world. And Brother Andrew there from Malaysia. And you guys just had a big event in uh, in Singapore. I saw that by Brother Lawrence Chance. That was amazing. We have Sister Cora Mandapa. I think I see Sister Tess Dude. Uh, Dr. Sri is also here. So, so many people had joined us because they want to know more about this technology. Our brother, Barry Blake, how are you, brother? So, let's learn this together, all right? Okay. More steps that we need to do. Now, once you have 150 people, you need to follow up with your skills. Uh, you want to practice with your family. So you, when you make mistake, they're going to laugh at you. It's okay. And usually it is very hard to be successful in your own family. I salute Pastor Ed because he recruit his wife and he recruit his mom and all his family member. It's not easy doing a good job, Pastor Ed, right? How do you improve your skills? Uh, Brother Roy, I'm lazy to read. You know, people come with my my goodness, a thousand different excuses to me. I was just laughing at them. You want to make a million dollars with that kind of attitude? Read everything from the website, liveweb.com. Subscribe to their email. Subscribe to their YouTube channel. Sign up with Live Web in Touch. And be careful not to cross the line. There are a couple of other leaders from a different legs that are putting a different a YouTube channel that many of my downline and Pastor Ed downline are watching. Uh, and then we forward it to our downline and our downline forward it to our downline and end up those downline instead of signing up with your group, sign up with the other publication that produce the YouTube channel. Be careful. We are like a shepherd. We got to, we got to guard our sheep. Otherwise, they go to the other side, right? <clears throat> Always communicate with your uplines and work together with the nice and create a partnership. Because not everybody have a nice attitude. Some, some people that I'm dealing with is just so unbelievable, impossible to be a friend. Uh, I'm a pretty easy guy to be a friend with and I'm pretty generous. I mostly pay for your lunch, dinner, or whatever that we have together. So, but some people, I cannot tolerate their attitude. Some people have such a bad attitude. I was like, what does your parents teach you? You know, it, it shows up right away. So always communicate with your upline and work together with the nice one. Create a partnership and you can work together. Hold each other responsible while you're building live wave all the way to the top, okay? And do this every day. When I first recruited Brother Rick, we talked like 25 times a day. I'm not kidding you. I don't understand this. I don't understand that. I don't understand this. So that's why I create all these uh, <laughs> like flyer type, the protocol and so forth and so on. So people can learn from it, okay? Uh, this is our, I think last year, we had uh, a BOP training on one Saturday with Sandra, with Brother Rick, with Dr. Philip, with many, many others. And that was Brother Oz from Texas. That is uh, Daniel. So timing, the key to success, we have to be smart to look at the timing and the trend opportunity. We have it. Stamp cell is the key. You have to understand to be team building. Uh, all of us are voluntary army, so you cannot be the boss. All right, Pastor Ed, let's pick this up, and oh, Pastor Ed, let's do this. Cannot do that. We do it together as a team, all right? We have to have good, good attitude. I learned this uh, while I was uh, 
when I first start network marketing. You know, I went to a very expensive school and they don't teach you nothing. Attitude and philosophy has to be in place. Great attitude and nice philosophy about everybody. Do not have an attitude that will tick or irritate your partner, your friend, your downline, your uplines. You always want to create a nice atmosphere so people love to talk to you. When you create a crazy atmosphere, people do not want to talk to you. And you wonder like, what is wrong with, with you? And they don't see what's wrong with me, right? So be nice, be sweet, be kind. See, now Martin taught me so many different things that I never been learning at USC. Touch me, trust me. This is our Indonesian team. Uh, Vida actually is one of the top income earner in Indonesia. Right, the wellness revolution. You gotta know about this too. Everything, people wanna stay young. They wanna stay strong. Uh, if they understand well and they are well educated, they do not wanna take drugs. So we have to understand that. That was Jin Long Lee when I found my jewel in Malaysia. Okay, and now <laughs> he is doing it so well. How do I get into this? The wellness revolution is still just getting started, offering even greater entrepreneurial opportunities for all of us. Get ready for stem cell. In 2025 alone, they projected $36 billion. I'm not too greedy. I just want 1% of that. That should be enough for me, right? So we are in position with LiveWay because we do not have any competitors at all. We have over a hundred patents. Uh, it's just unbelievable, our technology and our company. This is Brother Lorenzo and I, we were in Mexicali. If you say the future, would you take the advantage of it? You know, like most, most people already saw the future, but they don't take advantage of it, right? What will the 21st century bring? $1 trillion annually in the wellness industry. And as you know, we are in the wellness industry with so many different paths and we are the only one. And, but many of my downline who never recruit an old body, who never have activity, but they always love to find that will, information that will tick me. Bro, Roy, that is another company just like me. Oh yeah, send me the link. And then I check, how could it be the same? It is transdermal. We are non-transdermal. What is non-transdermal, Roy? Oh my God, you don't even know all these years what non-transdermal is? Like I said, you got to study, spend your time. There are no, uh, there are nobody who are ignorant on everything that's going on, become a millionaire, right? You got to be focused, 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 study, 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 learn. If you want to see how good a friend of yours who is the CEO of something, Look at their library, you know? What kind of book uh, does he read? That's why even there's a saying, behind a clean Bible, there's a dirty man. Behind a dirty Bible, there is a very clean man. <laughs> Am I right, Pastor? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so we are in position, ladies and gentlemen. Baby boomers is the one that's gonna drive our technology. <clears throat> This is another picture, according to brother uh, Lorenzo, we were in Queretaro. I don't even know where in the world is Queretaro. Actually, it was in Mexico. So I remember when I was looking at the airport, like which airport are we going, you know? Uh, it is something new. So we built Queretaro and I think we have 1,300 people in one of our meeting. Unbelievable. So opportunities are here. And let me share with you what type of income that we have. Okay. Income number one is earned income. You go to the office, you click your hours, so you exchange your time and dollar. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you will never get rich. I'm sorry about that. Residual income is beautiful because as you go old, once you grow old, your body are not functioning well, uh, not strong, 
have diseases like crazy. You have no idea what kind of disease I have seen. Uh, people ask, how are we going to fix this and that? And I always remind them that we are not making any medical claim. Uh, residual income is the best. That's why I buy a lot of properties. And that is why life would be so great. Because I cannot tell you what kind of money I make. But for somebody that have seen my check, uh, you cannot believe it. It's crazy. It's just crazy. In one day, I can make $10,000. Just imagine that. All right. So residual income is the way to go as we all getting old. Even when you are young, you want to start now, right? And we are the only company that have 17 more years on the pattern itself. Uh, Susan Summer is my friend. And now let's talk business sense. Do we have a unique product? Oh, you better believe it. It is consumable. Oh, yes. Does the market expanding? You better believe it. We are shipping to 100 countries now. The timing and the trends. We have it all. Okay. We really have it all. We need to build it one person at a time. I remember when I first recruited the first person, the second person, the third person. And most people are not designed to be successful somehow because as they grew up, their brain are cluttered with so many different things. Uh, they do not have persistence of working. You know, they do not have a good habit. So we got to throw all that. You create your own, your new one yourself. You have to create a good habit, delete all your bad habit, and you build it one by one. If I had four hours to chop a wood, I would spend three hours sharpening my axe so I can jam it fast. And that Benjamin Franklin say that, right? And uh, five day, the fortune is in the follow up. Now you can take a look. <laughs> That's President, ex President Obama was calling and following up everybody. Work with leaders who already are on fire. Uh, work with those who deserve, not those who need. How many of us, oh, Brother Roy, I have my cousin. Uh, my cousin husband just left her. She has three children, no income. I want to help her. You might I just give her the money. If your cousin do not want to build, it's going to be very hard to build the business for your cousins. All right. Unless you can recruit a thousand people. Can you recruit a thousand people? I recruit only 100, 965 so far. Right. You have to create home meetings and tap into the warm market. The reason we opened the Philippines before is because we had a meeting in Pasadena. And in Pasadena, one lady had an uncle in the Philippines. And then we make the phone call and I'm going to the Philippines after that. And that's the way you open a business. You gotta have a global vision. Who do you know? Who does your friend? Oh my goodness, my neighbor is from Nicaragua. So he must have friend in Nicaragua, right? The family or somebody. My goodness, he's from the Philippines. Same thing, he must have friend in the Philippines. He is from, yesterday I had lunch with Cambodian one of our leader, Brother Maran, and he went to Cambodia, Thailand, and Indonesia as well. So we need to expand our mind, and that is the way you build the business. Mm -hmm. It is not who you know, but who they know. Many people have so many different connections. And the reason I'm going back to Las Vegas uh, on, on Monday is because the person that I had just recruited gonna connect me with all their friends. You know, with this kind of information, we cannot keep it for ourselves. We gotta share with the world. You know, if the world are not using drugs anymore, I mean, the world's gonna be much healthier world. All right, this is the last time that we did uh, a booth with Cora Mandapa, Bro Larry, Sister Nikki, Bro Rick, and who else is there? Uh, oh, uh, Sister, I forgot her name. Anyway, we had a good time, we ate good, and we had a good result also. It is very important to follow up the first 48 hours. You know, after I sponsor Mona, by the time I get back home to LA, I'll be sending her what the products are, 
what is the protocol for whatever condition that she might have. That is very important. And you want to introduce all your new people with the key leaders. Set up action plan goals. What are we going to do? Because if you do not have plan or goals, it's going to be very hard for your downline to follow your footsteps. I mean, my goodness, I make crazy money like this uh, because I follow this step one by one. Set up a buddy system like this doc. Look at that. They got a buddy system. But, you know, I love travel with Brother Lorenzo and Brother Rick. The reason being because <clears throat> not only that we are friend and best friends, but we protect each other. I remember that last time I was with Brother Lorenzo. Well, last time I was with Brother Rick. We are really buddy, buddy. That is one thing. You know, that's why I always said in my Tuesday meeting, I do not, I do not believe when people have stress. You know, if you join LifeWave, you are active, of course. You cannot join and sleep. Join and be active. You're going to have a lot of friends. When you have a lot of friends and you start producing a lot of money, it's exciting life, right? So you never be lonely if you join LifeWave correctly and do the program uh, correctly as well. Profile tool. And make your 100 name list, ladies and gentlemen. Many of you, I have told you that. Have you done it? 100 name list is so powerful. Unbelievable, right? Assure them that they have made the right decision and that you will be there with them. Uh, many uplines uh, do not do their job correctly. In fact, I just had a meeting and I told them, make sure your upline do not quit. <clears throat> because if your upline quit, then you're going to be alone, right? So work together and then build this together with strength. Okay. Let them know that you care. It had been said, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. That is so, so true. So true like crazy. So I always try to be there with my downline and show them that I do really care, right? And build your pay leg after you become big. You understand working with your pay leg, right? But I'm still working with my power leg too. This is our Christmas party when there was a guy that had COVID and I took a picture with him. <laughs> he was in the hospital tomorrow, but thank God I'm always wearing my patches. I didn't get any from him, right? Okay. So uh, keeping in the loop so everybody know what's going on. Spend at least 10 hours a week. That is like super minimum. <clears throat> uh, at 10 hours a week, maybe you're going to make 100 to quarter million dollars, 100,000 to quarter million dollars. You need to spend more hours, right? Support a weekly meeting. Uh, many of you know that I have a Saturday, five o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and Tuesday with Brother Tito. The rest is meeting with different groups that do not want to mix with others, which is fine, right? Attend all company events. How many of you guys have registered for October uh, 12th? I already bought a plane. Thank you, Brother Tommy. Thank you. I see that, Pastor Ed. I see that, Brother David. Yes. So you got to buy the ticket. That is commitment. When you're committed like that, you will love it because you're going to build it together <clears throat> with us. When you build it together with us, the exciting is just going to be so amazing because you meet the inventor. You can take picture with him. Uh, David always told me, Okay, Roy, let's take a picture number 10,000 because David and I have been going around the world and I think I'm the only distributor that kidnapped him for 16 days. I took him to Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Taiwan, 16 days. And it's been a blessing. And from there alone, I know what kind of man he is. You know, there's one time that the plane was delayed because of the weather. We waited at the airport for five hours. And I can see that he's cool. So, okay, I got it, right? We got to wait. So what? 
So he went to the corner, put his computer, he works. I mean, his behavior is just top, top notch. Uh, not only that I love the company, I love the product, but David is an amazing man, seriously. Follow all your successful uplines, okay? Ask them, interview them. Like Pastor Ed just interviewed me a couple of days ago, right? Treat it like a business, not like a hobby, because hobby is expensive. I have a crazy expensive hobby collecting cars. You know, one car is $100,000 and over. That is too expensive. <clears throat> so treat it like a business, and it will pay you like a business. You can either make money or make excuses. Don't give me excuses, ladies and gentlemen. Text me, bro, Roy. I'm excited. I want to start working. I opened a booth on this day. Can you come and help us out? Things like that makes me excited. All right. Don't tell me, oh, brother Roy, you have no idea. I have no Wi-Fi. Uh, your Zoom connection are not connected. I've been trying to get to call you. It looks like your number doesn't work. I mean, I heard this <laughs> too many times. It drive me crazy. <clears throat> If you do all this, watch what will happen. In just one year, right? One year is going to go back so fast. We are almost June, already half a year gone. So, so fast. <clears throat> this was our last, uh, I think we were in Newport Beach or somewhere. I was interviewed by the lady on the right with Therese Santos. It was a great event, and we know them very well, our family. So we need to provide leadership and protect your network. <coughs> we have to keep updating everybody, brief everyone on new and upcoming events, both locally, internationally, company-wide, such as contests, promo, and trainings. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to update you guys now. Pay attention. May 31st, I'm going to have an event in Orange County. May 31st, 7 o'clock, Orange County. Flyer and detailed information will follow. I think I'm going to make it tonight. And then we'll go from there. All right? So we got to do that to all of our leaders. Recognition is very important. Review results of the previous meeting, challenge, offer congratulations, applause, small gift, to those who meet the challenge, recognize successes in sponsoring of new distributors. I have one group and I think Brother Nikmat and Brother Marlon is here. They always congratulate when something happened in, the, in their network. That is great. And I think I also have uh, some group that is so dead. You know, I have 262 groups that I have to send something. You know, that's why I was send it early in the morning because if it is during the day, they can only let me send one at a time. That drive me crazy, right? So at least I can send five. Before, I can send 100, but now <laughs> only five at a time. So recognition is so important. Actually, people will do better both on recognition than when you pay them. But if you pay them and recognize them, oh my Lord, sky's the limit. Education. Include product training, understanding, and the marketing plan. Tips on sponsoring and business management. Uh, somebody just interviewed me earlier today. How do you sponsor people? Roy? I have a friend that I really want to recruit, but I don't even know where to start. Oh, okay. Well, let me give you a tip off. Ask your friend a simple question that you already predict the answer. Like what? Hey, John, don't you want to stay young and you don't have to walk like crimpling and you cannot even get up from the table? Don't you want to be healthy, John? What is the answer? It's yes, right? Okay. So when you get yes, then you start directing. It's like they call it NLQ, Neuro NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. So you want to have and carry that kind of conversation with them. So, John, we have a new technology that I really want you to take a look. And I would like to have a little opinion about it from you. What do you say about this, John? 
I already use it. I love it because, you know, my problem, this, this, and that is gone. I can sleep better. I have more energy each and every day. You know, you share your, your own testimonial. That's it. And shut up and let John talk. And from there, you will know where is John with his condition. And then you want to ask again. Well, John, with all so many conditions that you have, would you spend $100 on your health? And most people would say, $100, yeah, I can, I can handle $100. This is like a stranger friend, right? Not your buddy, buddy, your buddy, buddy. I called them. I said, give me your credit card. I want to charge $1,600. Don't ask me why. And we're going to build business together. That's the way I recruit my friend. You know, I don't want to da, 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 prove me this and prove me that. I don't have time for that. You know, he's my friend. And many times I did that. Sharing is very, very important. You want to become the core group. Once you become the core group, you share each and every day. You want to make a million dollars. When you share each and every day and you need to have a system, either you write it down in a piece of paper, you talk to John, you talk to Mary, you talk to Larry, you write down and you know, put note, oh, Larry just fell down, had a pain. So when you call Larry next time, hey, how's that pain uh, when you fell down? So they know that you care really for what is going on in their life. Challenges, over challenges. Uh, talk with 30 new people each week, make a challenge attainable and be sure to recognize those who meet the challenge. The next time you meet, motivate all attendees with our enthusiasm in organization and challenge is important. Uh, we did that with Pastor Ed uh, a while, I think last year, right? That we give the banner and we give a business card and things like that. And that is the way you build your business. Okay, this is in Hawaii. If you guys ever been to Hawaii, there is a restaurant that you must go to. They call it the Boots and Chemo. The Savina, our leader in Hawaii, was there accompanying us. We did a meeting nearby the pool. Uh, this lady here have migraine, shoulder pain, back pain, knee pain, sciatica pain, leg pain, you name it, all kind of crazy pain. And then just with one aeon, drink a lot of water. And I said, go walk and tell me how you feel. And she was yelling, walana, walana. I said, like, what is that? Apparently, no more pain, no more pain. And sign up. Uh, I think we have like five guests, I believe. And everybody sign up, right? So key to duplication is the key for you to build your business. In fact, 20% of people will get it and sign up 80% not going to do it. So 20% of people get 80% of the results. Find and motivate your 20%. So find these kind of people, right? Because unfortunately in this world, 80 to 90% of people are, I'm not going to dare to say what they are, but you know what I mean. Guide them to venture out of their comfort zone. When everybody is comfortable, they do not want to do it. So you got to do it and guide them out from the comfort zone. Promote personal development. Uh, you know, my sponsor do not motivate me anymore. So I need to motivate myself. I've been listening to Jim Rohn, Brian Tracy, uh, Anthony Robbins, Les Brown, all these great, great people. And uh, when I took a shower at night, I'm listening to these people. And from there alone, I know that, oh my goodness, I can learn so many different things. And that's what I've been learning all the way. Because when you hear it from them, I, I love what Jim Rohn said. You wanna make money, listen and study money. Huh, that makes so much sense. Uh, you know, whatever that you want to accomplish in your life, you need to go Google and download everything in YouTube and listen. I listened to Jim Brown, I don't know how many hundred times. It kind of, even his words stuck in my mind. You know, when you have all the positive word, in fact, Jim Brown even said that Bible is the best book there is. 
you can learn everything from the Bible, right? Even to be successful in business. So encourage your leaders to develop their leaders. You know, I always encourage Brother Lorenzo to develop and now Pastor Ed, thank you Pastor Ed. He's been such a great tool in our Zoominar, always helping me when uh, Brother Lorenzo is busy. And later on, you guys are gonna hear the Martin plan from Brother Ed because Brother Rick is in Atlanta with Brother Ted. All right. So we need to build the team spirit. Uh, I drove all the way to New Jersey to meet Brother Ed and had a nice Thai dinner. Also the same thing with uh, David Allen. I drove all the way. Where were we, Brother David? <laughs> I don't even remember anymore. We were in Texas, I think, at that time. <clears throat> to meet Brother David Allen and study and have a great dinner as well. So you want to go, when you go to places, just meet a couple of your leaders. Set aside time to meet with your leaders, promote teamwork and achieve synergy. Monkey see, monkey do. Roy, what do you sign up with? I sign up as a bronze. Oh, son of a gun. Okay, whatever bronze is, I want to sign up like you. So they sign up everybody like bronze. We don't want that. We want them to sign up as a diamond so they have product, right? And there are so many different reasons. Somebody just asked me the other day, why do you want to sign up people as a, as, as a diamond, Roy? Well, number one, the product becomes cheaper. Number two, your confidence level is higher. When you sign up as $100, 99% you're going to quit. When you sign up as a diamond, you spend the money, your brain going to start working. You use the product and you're going to promote it to your friend. And number three, when you sign up another diamond, you make $500 instead of $200. So those are the three good, amazing reasons you want to sign up people as diamond. In Indonesia, where I was born, to sign up as a diamond only costs you 25 million rupiah. It's a lot of money. By the time I landed in my country, I become a billionaire. Unbelievable. Learn from previous challenges, right? We had challenges, we had situation. And, you know, we become wiser and learn that we are not going to repeat the same problem. Motivate your team. Always renew commitment. That's why I always call Rick. I call Brian Lorenzo, call Pastor Ed, and many others, because we need to renew our commitment. The best thing you can give to your organization is our persistence. You do not want to call them, ah, oh, okay, you want to recruit David Allen to join LiveWave next week. Hey, David, you know what? We have a dead wave, by the way. You need to sign up in that wave. And the following week, we have uh, whatever wave. You, if people cannot focus, you're going to lose them all. You focus, you study this technology, you share it with others, and to be consistent and focus. That's why I always said focus, focus, focus. The reason I said it three times, because most people cannot focus. They just cannot focus. They always think that the other side of the turf is greener. Well, you forgot that your neighbors spend more money on water and you are being very stingy on the water. And the water bill, he pay more expensive too. So always focus and build life. And there are no better company out there. Trust me. I got offer in the average two offer a week on the average, sometimes five or seven. And they always ask, bro, are you going to take a look at this, take a look at this? Oh, God. I said, there's nothing like life here, period. Okay. This is uh, Brother Dale, Sister Mitzi, and David. We were in Orange County at the time. I have a very personal question to all of you guys. List five attributes that you consider would be making a great upline. All right, I want to start with you, David Allen. What would be a great uh, upline? Unmute yourself. All right. How about Pastor Ed? Why don't you start first, Pastor Ed? What would make a great upline? Make a great upline is to be coachable, trainable, 
and listen. Listen first. Be listen, listen, listen. Then you can okay. get. All right. Brother David, can you unmute yourself and give me some input on this? Can I unmute her? <laughs> Let me see. Tommy Mason, how are you, Brother Tommy? Great. How about yourself? Good, good, good. So give me one of the other five. What is a yes, green sir. upline? Yes, sir. When your From people contact you. Com. The different card issuers have different point systems. A good rule oh, that? to keep in mind. Okay. I'm sorry, Brother Tommy. Go ahead. That's all right, sir. When your people contact you, no matter how what avenue they use, you've got to get back to them as soon as you can. Agree. Don't let yes. them hang. Yes, sir. Yes. Totally agree. That's what my upline to... does for me. Ah, very good. I've, I've learned that from David Allen. That's what All he right. does for me. Uh, I think David is ready now. Brother David, what will create a great upline? Someone that can listen and devote their time. Listen before that. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Brother Aloysius from Indonesia. Give me a good reason. What is a good upline? Hi, thank you, Brother Roy. Yes. Good upline is a, a person that can make you feel great and proud of yourself. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Okay, who else can we ask? Okay, I want to ask one more. Wendy Tan from Singapore, I believe. That was a great event in Singapore, Wendy. I was going to um... unmute yourself, Wendy. A great leader is someone that is uh, by your side and that will support you all the way. And when they ask you to go and meet someone, you go there with them. And you say the event, Brother Roy, was in Malaysia, not Singapore. Oh, Malaysia, huh? But the event yes. was Singapore, right? No, it was in Malaysia, and we oh, had about 170, 170 over Singaporeans that came over and Vietnamese. It was oh, a great I event. See, see. Very good. Oh, yeah. And I love the song. That's my song, too. <laughs> yep. That's right. Yeah. All right. Brother Barry Blake, can you share with us? I need your sub, Brother Barry. Oh, he's not ready. Okay. All right. Who's going to share with me? Give me one more. Who's going to give me one more? Sister Vicky. There we go. Sister Vicky, where are you? Where is she? Be intentional. Ooh. Oh, be intentional? That's her tiny? name. No, that's her name, be intentional. Oh, be intentional. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay, I'm, okay. I'm here. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was, Brother Roy, what was the question for? I'm sorry. All right. Give me one characteristic of a great upline. Okay. A great upline is definitely someone that is a, a great example for uh, business building, <laughs> life skills. Someone that will always be there for you to either encourage you, give you the hard truth facts, um, mm -hmm. to help you along the way to be successful. I love that. That's true. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now let's take a look at this. Examine your list and carve carefully and ask yourself, would I want to be sponsored by me? Okay. That is a very deep question. If your answer is yes, that means you're ready to do the business. If your answer is still no, uh, no, I think uh, Brother Aloysius is a better sponsor than me. <laughs> that, that, that means you're not ready. You're not ready to make a million dollars with us, right? So that is why it's important that we self-check ourselves. I mean, are we a good example for the network? Am I a great person to make it happen? Uh, so that we can grow all together so big, okay? Two oh, people no. with equal oh, abilities. No. Why one fail and one successful, right? So we were taught how to sell, how to recruit, how to train, how to retain. 
right? A, B, C, D, F, G with homework too, right? Attitude is the little thing that makes the big difference because with the right attitude, you create value, okay? The same person, it could be even twin, but when the one other person have a bad attitude, they usually will not do well in life. Right? So you still have to have positive philosophy, give you a positive attitude, and it produce you positive action and give you positive result and definitely positive lifestyle. The other way is negative. Negative philosophy, negative attitude, negative action, negative result, and give you a negative lifestyle. When people are negative, somehow I notice also, although we get rid of their pain, because one time I was using the, the acupuncture chart that I hook up to my computer, the pain is not there, but because this person is just a nagging negative person, I still feel the pain, <laughs> I said, the computer said no, and you said you, you have pain. So what can we do, right? Cannot help everybody. So this is when we were in our last conference, I believe. And this is when I had my booth open with Sandra somewhere. I don't even know, remember anymore. So as we are going to take off and really expand our business, we need to assist as many passengers who are heading to the same directions, right? This is Pastor Ed. Uh, on the last conference, see, I was still wearing the t-shirt. I have the t-shirt too, Pastor Ed. Thank you for that. That is amazing color. And here we go. I'm going to create a 90-day challenge for all of us, May 13 to August 13. In everything in our life, everything is 90 days. You know, when I hire my employee, I give them 90 days for the probation uh, time. I remember when I had my white belt before I get my yellow belt is 90 days season. And when you are pregnant, that's why they have the trimester and also 90 days, right? So in 90 days, whatever your rank is, if you can put in our chat, whatever your rank is, and you want to climb to the next rank, can you do it in 90 days? And will you commit to make it happen in 90 days? Can you start writing things there in our comment? I wanna see how that things go. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, so far I have four. All right. Anybody wanna write it down? Let's see, how's the group response? Okay, Larry Clark. All right, brother Larry. Sister Vicky. All right. Debra Bryan. Great. So I think it's possible. Okay, possible what? You got to write down what you are. Your manager. You want to become a director. If you're a director, you want to become a senior director. Write it down. When you write it down, you will believe in yourself, and you already proclaim it to the public. And you're gonna be, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. If you think about it, that is already, <laughs> you're going backward already, right? That's why most people are not successful because they are thinking backward. And Mary Hollings had, yes, executive director, right on. That is the kind of commitment that you need to commit to yourself and to your upline and to your sideline. And it's gonna be exciting. Right? Anybody else on the right? So Vicky says she wants to be executive director. Woohoo! All right. Maria. <laughs> yes, executive director too. Tabita. Wow, executive director is the way to go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, how much how much money you make? 3500 uh, Pastor Ed? Uh, executive director 7500. 7500. Okay. There we go, brother. There you go. See, iPhone. Who's iPhone? Director to senior director, Linda. Okay, Linda. 
Larry Carr, go Orlando, October. Don't have the money, but be there with advancement in rank. Okay, there we go. All right. So we need to commit, commitment. And when you write it down, you will make it happen. It's scary because you're committing yourself, your mind, your whole being to achieve that. That is the exciting part. See? And from the response alone, you can see. Brother Maran, I see that. I'm supporting you. We're going to have more lunches. I love Brother Maran because he always buy me great lunches. We just had a great lunch in, uh, what restaurant was that? Uh, Lunasia. Lunasia. They have the best, the best dim sum. I love that place. Brother Jaquin, just recently promoted to managing, to direct manager, working to be director. All right, Brother Jaquin, let's do it in 90 days. You know, you just need to create two managers, not that hard. All right. So that is the commitment that I'm talking about. All right. Everything comes in 90 days. Why? Let's set up your goal, manager, director, and so forth and so on. Oh, Dr. Yip, a bit different goal. I will patch 100 people in 90 days to help them. The BP will come along. Dr. Yip, you're going to be speaking next week, right? <laughs> Dr. Yip. So we're going to have yes. a speaker, Dr. Cheng Yip, next week. Amazing yes, doctor. Roy. Exciting, exciting. All right. Looking that forward to great. it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it too. All right. So May 13, August 13, I'm going to put it in my calendar. I'm going to ask you guys. All right. This is our event, the last event in, uh, I have to drive 40 miles to go to this event uh, to support Lida. I hope Lida is here today. So you got to decide what it is you want. Where do you want to go? How high do you want to climb? Which wall you want to finally break through? Who do you want to be with? Revenge. You know, the sweetest revenge, you know, like when people say, Roy, you cannot do that marketing. Because I remember many of my friends said, you're already so busy, Roy. Why in the world are you doing that marketing? Because I'm trying to help my mom. And I already felt, because when I play badminton, my energy level is going sky high. So I love this technology. I love this product. And the first year, I didn't do much about it. But the second year, I really go gung-ho because I've seen all the results. Don't follow me, guys. That's waste too much time. All right. So we got to act now. Regardless of the position you're currently in, you can have the best year of your life. Life is growing with or without you. Don't you think you deserve a piece of the pie? I want a bigger pie. So we have to get involved. So profits, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me well. Profits are better than wages. That is so true. <clears throat> Time to change. Your current situation, money-wise, health-wise, whatever your situation now, and lifestyle is a direct result of the choices and decision you have made and you have done. So if you want to have different result, change it. To get you've never had before, you have to do what you've never done before. We heard this a thousand times. It's time to do it. Step out from your comfort zone. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Remember, in the very beginning of this presentation, I said, how serious are you when to really build this? Because people, oh yeah, I want to listen to what Roy has to say, but I'm not going to comment. It's impossible. You know, you cannot have that kind of attitude because it's going to ruin you, right? You want to build yourself. Mm -hmm. These are the kind of people that you need to find, right? NC Dog, after 
we're not supposed to prejudge because, you know, I do not prejudge anybody. I talk and share to everybody, even, uh, you know, when I was in Indonesia, the rickshaw driver and the farmer was my downline because we never prejudge anyone. So NCDART is the guideline. Somebody have a network. So even the rickshaw driver have, a, have friends of rickshaw driver, right? He or she must have a good credi credi credibility, have a burning desire, have an amazing attitude, got to have a little money, and of course, got to be teachable. Because when you are teachable, it's easier to work together with you. So ladies and gentlemen, how to find the hot button. Use form. Let's talk about the family. Let's talk about the occupation. And let's talk about the last recreation and the last one, of course, money. How, uh, when was the last time you go with your family in a five-star hotel and flying business class or first class? Oh, Roy, I haven't done that forever. Don't you think uh, you need to create something so that your family can go vacation with you, right? Uh, flying first class, staying at a five-star hotel, enjoying the environment. And if I can show you this, would you have 30 to 45 minutes of your time over a cup of coffee? I always love to take people to eat noodle, all right? But not everybody <laughs> like noodles, right? And then you discuss it. That's it. Uh, that is Brother Maran and Brother Nick Mutt. That's Brother Larry and Sister Nikki with Brother Rick and Sister Jane. To be successful in building live wave business, then this is the sequence. Focus, focus, focus. Determination. Determine that you will be successful. You got to believe. If you have belief in your heart, it's so much easier to build it. Persistent will always pay. Always, always, always. Uh, I think I saw Vida there. How many times I follow her up? How many times I follow Aloysius up, right? So creativity. Brother Roy, I have no friend. How can I build this if I have no friend? Hey, let's open booth, right? And I recruit many great people from the booth or just open your mouth. Massive action. Repeat your successful action. So. Let's say you recruit somebody in a restaurant. So go eat again at a restaurant and you might meet other people. And you have to be gutsy and bold. Get out from your comfort zone. Uh, most my Indonesian friend, oh my God, Roy, I don't feel comfortable talking to stranger. I don't think I have the cuts to talk to nobody that I know of. I don't think I will be uh, nice to people when I talk to strangers. I mean, they give you excuse after excuse. Never give up on your prospect. Follow up is the key. Follow up, this is the key to your success. Spend time and money on your leaders, right? So again, we have to be generous. We have to become a good leader and spend the money and time with your leaders. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm toward the end. I want everybody to be acted like a stem. You know why? Because you want to stick it until your final destination. If everybody can be a stem, so no quitting, always follow through, always stick on a program, always becoming a core that, you know, you share it with one person. I think core is once a week, right, Brother Alloy? And then share it and start patching people once a week. You want to yes. do it every day if you want to make a million. Thank you, Brother Alloy. Make a million, you got to do it every day. You got to talk to 10 people. All right. And here we go. Take action today and success can be yours tomorrow.